As I said, he is executive director of HIT in Liverpool, visiting professor in drug use and addiction at Liverpool John Moores University, visiting professor at the University of Rosario, Argentina, member of the board of directors of Harm Reduction International, and member of the board of directors of the Middle East and North African Harm Reduction Network. He lives on the board of Switzerland and France, just outside Geneva. With that, I give you my friend, I give you my colleague, Pat O'Hare. This is the one of the problems about people who are against harm reduction. Although I completely agree with you, most people are just, you know, they're just almost indifferent and don't think about it. Really. I think a lot of times that people don't want, it's not so much that they're against harm reduction, in some cases, but some people it's the bottom line, it's money. They don't want to spend the money. But in the long run, if they could see the long picture, you really would save money by spending money. Oh, absolutely. And, and people don't, they don't want to see oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Just let's take the case of someone with AIDS. It costs about a thousand pounds talking about the UK now, about a thousand pounds, that's about fourteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars per year to provide methadone and clean needles and clean injection equipment. It costs forty-eight thousand pounds a year to look after someone with AIDS. So the economic argument is, I mean, it's just, and that's why in England the Conservative government under Margaret Thatcher was the government that gave the go-ahead for this to happen because they looked 14,000, 1,000, that's what we've got to do. Thank goodness they did, thank goodness they did. The other, the other reason a lot of people are against harm reduction is that they think harm reduction is a pro-drug stance and so they're against drugs. Now I think that it's probably better if people don't use drugs. But, you know, I mean, the fact is that they do. That's the fact. You know, and we have to deal with that. And we can deal with it in one of three ways, actually. We can be very, very uh, repressive about people who use drugs. We can just ignore it, or we can reduce the harm, try and reduce the harm. So it's, it's, it's all about its attitudes.